Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino. We're looking at this beer. This beer is from Black Oak. And it's a weird one to me. This is uh, their Nox Eterna, which is a bourbon oak-aged smoked breakfast stout at 7% alcohol by volume in a 341 milliliter bottle, small bottle. Uh, don't remember the price of this. It was like three, four, maybe five bucks. I think it was three something though. Uh, and, and the reason I say it's weird is this 340 milliliter bottle, which is oak aged, was cheaper than uh, than the 650 of a non oak aged version of the same beer. So it was it was kind of weird to me. Let's uh, drink the beer, shall we? And black as black could be. Nice mocha head scent. Oh, that smells awesome. You get the bourbon. You you really can smell the bourbon. Bourbon, vanilla. Well, bourbon. You're getting vanilla. Vanilla chocolate. Vanilla chocolate, some leather. Beautiful coffee scents. Nice roastiness. Almost a uh, almost a cigar smoke in there. All in all, that smells lovely. Cheers, let's try it. Okay, it does have that kind of tobacco, tobacco slash cigar smoke in there. Uh, almost, uh, when you used to be able to get, when you used to be able to get flavored cigarellos here in Ontario, this reminds me of the cappuccino cigarellos. You get that vanilla, get a little bit of cinnamon, Nice, nice tobacco note. Nice woody earthiness. Oh, that's a very good beer. So, vanilla, tobacco, char, earthiness, cinnamon. Uh, that wood, that oak tannin. Well, that oaky tannic flavor. Oh. This is a beautiful beer. Wow, and at 7% alcohol, you don't taste that at all. All in all, I really enjoy this beer. I don't think I can say there's anything wrong with it, to be honest with you. And at like $4 a bottle, it's cheaper than buying a innocent gun product, and it's dare I say better. I love it. I love it. Nice, nice mouth feel. Nice everything. Out of ten on this, I'm gonna give it an eight seven five. I really enjoy this beer. I would buy a shitload more of them and age them if I could have. Unfortunately, I couldn't. So thank you guys for watching. Greg picked this up for me. So thank you very much, Greg, for going across the street. And uh, bye, guys.